Hi friends and Israel fans, come and join me in another episode of Israel with Moshe. We are in the Golan Heights. We're going to talk about this general area in the north part of Israel, the Golan Heights, just above the Sea of Galilee, northeast, the border between Israel and Syria. Normally, when groups come and visit, they visit two sites in the Golan Heights. They visit the Tel Dan and Caesarea Philippi. We have episodes about both, but we're going to talk a little bit more about what we find in the Golan. Uh, there will be another episode talking about the different wars of Israel, an episode about the geopolitical. The Golan is water. There's lots of water, as you can see. Water forces, melting of snows on Mount Hermon that makes um, a river, three, riv three springs actually, that join into the Jordan River. And so the source of water for the Jordan River is in the Golan Heights, which is one of the most important why the Golan is so important for Israel's security. Water is the first issue. Topography and then a buffer zone between Israel and Syria as we speak about. Uh, in biblical days, the Golan was important because it's the road leading to Damascus. What we see now, Nimrod's castle, is uh, a fortress of the Muslims from the Crusaders period that was meant to protect the water sources of the Jordan River, the banyas that goes underneath it, and also protect the road to Damascus. And that's the area where Saul was walking when he was going up to Damascus. That's what the Bible called the road to Damascus. This is the area where Jesus brought the disciples to ask them, who do men say that I am? This is the area where we believe transfiguration happened. Uh, today in the Golan, there's a big community of Druze people. So we're seeing some of the Druze villages. Druze in the Golan used to be Syrian before the war in 1967. After Israel took the Golan, they became Israelis and they're controlled under Israel. The Golan is a lot about volcanoes. It used to be a volcanic area. There's lots of non-active volcanoes. Most of the pressure of the Syrian African Rift Valley goes into the northern part, and that's why the northern part is high. And that's why also we have Mount Hermon in the Golan with snow in winter time, uh, 6,700 feet above sea level, just the top end of the Golan Heights and the border between Israel and Syria. Um, an interesting visit that sometimes we do is to the top of Mount Bental. Mount Bental overlooks Syria. We're looking at Syria now. We're seeing the Kunetra Valley and we're seeing everything below Mount Bental between the mountain and the Israeli-Syrian border. This is the UN base that buffers between Israel and, um, and Syria and the border crossing between Israel and Syria that was used for by, by UN soldiers. Um, this is a very fertile area. This is a military post on top of Mount Bental because it's one of the highest mountains in the Golan. Military post that protects the border. There's lines of mountains. Each one of those mountains have a military post, a bunker uh, that holds a group of soldiers, might be 20 to 30 soldiers, uh, and they're supposed to protect uh, and prevent any attack from the border. Very hard to live inside a bunker. It's all underground. It's made of cement, covered, um, has shooting positions, 360 degrees. Uh, and so when you're, when you're in one of those bunkers, you literally uh, live through shifts uh, day and night of standing and watching towards the border and making sure nobody is going to invent. This is Mount Hermon that we saw with the snow. In winter, the whole top of Mount Hermon is covered by snow. And so temperatures in the Golan are very, very cold because of this proximity to Mount Hermon, especially when the wind blows from Mount Hermon into the mainland, it gets to be very, very cold. Um, so a military position, uh, not non-active now, but in case of need, it always could be activated. And this is the area below the mountain, below Mount Bental. This is the area called the Valley of Tears. In the next episode, where we're going to talk about the different wars of Israel. We'll talk about a famous battle that happened in the Valley of Tears in the war of 1973, in the war of Yom Kippur. And so um, this was an introduction about the Golan. Follow the next episodes and we'll talk a bit more in details about the different wars and about the geopolitical situation in the Golan. And we end with a 360 degrees view from top of Mount Bental, from top of that Israeli bunker. 
looking into the Valley of Tears, looking into the Israeli-Syrian border.